Hamas has given its response to Israel's acceptance of a ceasefire, and it's not the answer Israel was hoping for. In a statement on its website, the militant group's armed wing called the plan a bowing initiative, adding it is not worth the ink that wrote it. Tuesday, Israel's security cabinet accepted a proposal drawn up by Egyptian negotiators. The truce would have involved a 12-hour ceasefire, followed by opening of Gaza's border passages and then formal talks in Cairo. Hamas's military wing says it wasn't consulted, and the truce didn't meet its list of demands, which included lifting Israeli restrictions on travel and trade in Gaza and the release of 50 Hamas prisoners. Even though the group was under immense pressure from several Arab nations to agree to the deal, its rejection of the ceasefire didn't come as much of a surprise, especially considering how a Hamas spokesperson recently characterized the proposal. They are trying to do is to corner the Palestinians and to help the Israelis more. I don't believe that this is a political thing to be done. It's close to be a joke. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had previously warned Hamas what would happen if it did not hold its attacks. Israeli newspaper Haaretz quotes him as saying, if Hamas will not accept the ceasefire, we will intensify the attacks against it. Shortly after, the IDF said on Twitter Hamas had fired at least 22 rockets since Israel called off its offensive. From the beginning of these latest negotiations, observers were skeptical the Egyptian brokered ceasefire would work. Although Egypt brokered the ceasefire that ended the last outbreak of violence in 2012, this time around ties between Hamas and Cairo are strained. At home, Egypt's new president is trying to crush the Muslim Brotherhood of which Hamas is considered an offshoot. According to Gaza's health ministry, at least 190 people have died in the Israeli airstrikes and more than 1,100 have been wounded. The UN estimates more than 70 percent of those casualties were civilians. There have been no reports of Israeli casualties. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, multiple sources of broader view.